I'd say I have two races, really. I would say St. Petersburg because it's the first, but also because it's been a great place for me. Got my first win there, my first pole there. Exciting way to start my career at Chip Ganassi Racing there. And, and exciting for us to have Service Central because that's really their home. I mean, they're based in South Florida, but still it's kind of the, the center of, of tire kingdom country, so to speak. Uh, and then, of course, Indy. I mean, Indy's the, Indy's the one race every year that I think it's probably fairly common for that to be heard. But this being the 100th, I think it's going to be a, a fantastic year. And I think there's a lot of excitement and energy around it. And I think we've got a great shot. So looking forward to it. Well, I think, you know, you go to like street courses, for instance, you get a lot of elevation change. You can't really see that well. You got buildings and walls around you all the time, which is fairly common. But what you get in the road is a lot of crown. You get a lot of bumps, different things, that, different characteristics of the road in which in our road cars you don't feel or it doesn't affect them. But in the Indy car, it makes a huge difference. Um, and often if people are watching St. Petersburg, they see us move one way or another down the straightaways. That's to avoid big drops in the road or big bumps. And I think that's what makes it challenging. You got to figure those things out and you have a very short period of time to figure them out. And every single year we go back to a track, it's always different. So that's what makes it fun. There's nothing like it. I've been very fortunate to experience a lot of things, Super Bowls, um, World Series, all of, these, all of these things. Nothing compares to the Indy 500 on race day. Um, you walk out, I mean, the, the biggest adrenaline rush you can ever have is, is walking over the pit wall during driver introductions. There's nothing like it. Um, seeing several hundred thousand fans cheering for you, screaming, ready for the race. And then, of course, national anthem, back home again, all those things. It just, the emotion of that event is, uh, I don't think anything in sports can match it. Ooh, some days I'd like to disappear, <laughs> wouldn't we all? But I don't know, you know, I, I kind of look, I guess color-wise, I'm kind of like a Superman color this year, so we'll just go with Superman. I think it'd fit. I think for me, that's a pretty <laughs> a pretty easy answer. I, I think that you know, there are a lot of guys that I respect, but I think that my dad is, he's... um. He's certainly among the best ever. And while he may not have as many wins as some of these guys or this, that, the other, you look at what he accomplished in Indy cars, in sports cars, drove Formula One, drove NASCAR. I mean, he drove everything there was to drive. Um, I think no matter what I'm in, whether I'm in an Indy car, whether I'm doing a one-off at Daytona or Sebring or any sports car race, he always has an answer to your question. And uh, so I think he's the guy that I would go to for anything. And, um, you know, of course, because he's my dad, but also because he's always very open about that information. You can ask any of his drivers that aren't related to him. You know, they would probably all give you the same answer. Oh, I mean, it's, that's what makes our series so special is we're the only series that does it all. Um, street courses, road courses, super speedways, short ovals, Indy, you've got a wide variety of everything. But I would say I'm a street course guy, always have been. Um, even from my go-karting days, I always, for whatever reason, achieve the most success on street courses. I would say that my ovals have become one of my stronger points over the last couple of years, and it's a lot of fun, but street courses, St. Pete, Long Beach, these places, that's, that's what it's all about for me. I think my challenge is is to make sure that I leave no stone unturned, to make sure that every single day I do what I can to be a better race car driver. And this year that has become even more important because of the fact that you you know I know the opportunity that I have. I know the challenges that lie ahead. I know the pressures that are on me by not only myself, my team, my fans, everything like that. I mean, I, I want to go out there and succeed. And so in order to do that, I know that I have to make sure that I don't leave any stone unturned and I make sure that I'm paying attention to every little thing that comes my way.
I can't say I've had any uh, any of those exciting things. No, I. The drivers I've always been teamed up with, I've uh, well, we've all gotten along very well and and had a lot of fun. Pranks have never been something we've done. <laughs> That's what it's all about, you know. I mean, that's what makes it fun is to develop a car, make a car better, and now we're gonna do engines and and all. You know, the chassis will be completely different, different aero kits, all that type of stuff. So I would say next year is gonna be a lot of fun, and I, I've been very fortunate to have experienced that in in my Atlantic days when I when I joined there as a new car and in Champ Car when I went there it was a new car that year. So that's been a lot of fun, and and I look forward to it. I would say that my, you know, I, I had a lot, but the one that really stands out to me was, uh, it was in South Bend. We raced at an airport circuit there. And the reason I remember it is because my dad had taken the Jaguar Formula One job. And it was my first kind of on a bigger scene, my first big win. And I, it was one of, literally from that race, we were moving to England. We were gone. And so it, it was one of those moments that you thought, like, I don't know, you know, because I knew I wasn't going to race over there at the time. So you're wondering if your career is over, you know. And so it was kind of fun to get that big win for me. And I went on and then shortly thereafter came, moved back to the States by myself. But that was probably my first big one. Or I won my first national karting race uh, in the premier class, which at the time was ICC. I won that at uh, Road America, and that was pretty special just because it's Road America. St. Pete or Mid-Ohio. St. Pete or Mid-Ohio would be probably the ones I'd like to win the most. Um, I was fortunate to win St. Pete once, but to start the season that way, I think that that, that makes a statement. Uh, Mid-Ohio would just be great because it's my home track, and if there's one place I'd really love to win, that's it.